Okay, uh, this is a video about the Robin 520D I just received in the mail today. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. The uh, although when I received it, uh, the radio was dead keen, about ten and a half uh, watts, and I uh, turned the radio back down to about four watt dead key. Uh, I'm very surprised that the radio lasted very long. Uh, well, the uh, output transistors, anyway, uh, surprised they lasted as long as they did with that much dead key. Uh, a lot of people think because they have a variable resistor uh, in the radio, which is VR8, that they can turn that bad boy really high and uh, uh, they just don't last very long. Um, another thing I'm happy with is the looks like the finals are original to the radio. This isn't a very good camera and I don't have focus on here but uh, it's got the uh, 2SC1306 uh, and the 2SC1307 um, the C179, which uh, Radio Nut 63 uh, just replaced on his Cobra 139 XLR that he's working on. Um, the C179 in this radio uh, appears like, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but it appears like. Uh, it is it is blown apart. Uh, it don't look like electrical um, surge or anything, but um, it is apart, and I will be replacing it. Uh, it's a 2.2 microfarad at 25 volts. Um, another thing that uh, I've got to replace is VR12 which is the transmit meter control um, the top of it as you can see over here is off of it so I'll be replacing that um, and VR14 over there which sits right next to it they're, of course they're in the variable resistor there now but <clears throat> I would like to hook up a tone control on this radio, which I believe in the Cobra 139, or yeah, the Cobra 139 XLRs, they do have one. Um, but I would like to know what value of potentiometer I need to use uh, when installing that. Um, so if anybody has any any information on that I would really appreciate it uh, so anyway um, I hope that once I replace C179 I guess I'll uh, have to go from there on on uh, why I'm not getting any sideband output <clears throat> anyway this is just kind of a short view of the new Robin that I've received and let me turn this radio up here one more thing I'd like to point out that I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to straighten up this um, channel modification the switches I'm probably going to end up putting a um, five position switch on the back uh, I think that would work better. Uh, the uh, it wasn't a good install, in my opinion. It, the holes aren't lined up on the bottom of the of the case, and it just kind of it looks like it was just kind of thrown in there. So anyway, this is just a short video on the Robin 520D. Uh, thanks for watching.